Welcome to day five of our 10 day Daniel fast. Now today's passage of scripture is Proverbs three, verse five through 12. And you can read that in any translation, you're gonna get some good revelation. Uh, but one of the scriptures that we really get from that passage of scripture is trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding in all our ways to acknowledge him and he will direct our paths. You know, trust is a hard thing to do sometimes because as human beings, we love to do things ourselves. I know uh, e even as being a leader, I would rather do things myself than have to trust somebody to do it for me because it means you have to rely on them to do something that you, if you just do it yourself, you know it's gonna be okay. But you know what trust is? Trust is saying, God, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. I need your assistance. I need your guidance. And one thing about God, he loves it when we trust him. Can I help you this morning? Trust God with something hard. Trust God with your health. Trust God with your wealth. Trust God with what's going on in your family. Trust God with what's going on in your finances. Trusting God in these types of ways helps us to build up our faith in him because we already know that he will not let us down. So in this season, I want you to say, Lord, help me to activate, help me to increase my trust level in you. And some of y'all this week, God's going to ask you to do some things and you're going to have to trust him totally depending on him in Jesus name. So how do we trust God? Well, we need to fast. We need to pray. We need to stay in our word. We need to stay in the presence of God. So during this time of prayer and fasting, what you're going to do now is you're going to start developing that trust in him. Lord, I trust you today. It doesn't look good, but I'm going to trust you. I'm looking at my finances, but I'm going to trust you anyway. My marriage is rocky. Children are acting up. Stuff's going on at my job. But you know what? I'm going to trust God anyway. And when you put your trust in him, you will experience great results. Trust God today.